Hi, everybody. It is the 9th of November, 1043 a.m., Tuesday. Um, I just got home from the uh, from a dental appointment. Um, uh, was in the chair at 730 this morning, about 45 minutes away from where I live. So it's been a been an early call today, but uh, finally got my my tooth fixed, my front tooth, which basically got broken with a uh, headbutt from Marcello uh, quite some time back, and I just haven't had time to deal with it. And it turns out that the tooth next to it also had a crack in it, um, and we decided just to do both fronts. So here, here we go. Here we go. Front teeth are done, fixed. I can, I can eat crow again, like uh, like, like you always do in this gig. Um, just getting anxious to head out Sunday, uh, uh, Friday to our our gigs back east with the immediate family. I'm so thrilled that all of our three shows here all sold out and uh, we've got um, more gigs now coming in. People are, you know, promoters and stuff are going, oh, actually these guys really can pull a crowd. So all of a sudden the phone's ringing. So it's a, it's a building process when you've got a, you know, we're not a new musicians on the scene, but we're definitely a new group on the scene. And so we're building um, name at that at this point. So uh, if anybody hasn't done it, please uh, go to our YouTube uh, channel and subscribe. Uh, it would be much appreciated. Um, it's for some reason numbers help. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know, um, but that's how it works. Uh, let's see what else is going on. Um, well, I've got a bunch of stuff to do today, and then I've got interviews later on today. Um, to take care of. That's, that's kind of a daily, daily thing. But I'm just trying to take care of a whole bunch of stuff around the house before I head out of town. I always hate leaving with unfinished business. So it's, it's exciting things like I have to replace a soaker hose, and <laughs> things like that, you know, just the, 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 uh, the joy of home ownership that, and all the stuff that comes with it. Um, it was fun visiting Rosemary Butler yesterday. I, I adore Rosemary. We've been on the road for so many years together and done so many tours, and she's always a treat. Uh, today I'm going, um, I'm sticking with the female artist, and um, I've done a number of albums with this artist, and I'm just going to feature one of them today, and that's Debbie Boone. Um, Debbie has sung, she's got like, she's doing standards now. She's doing like the Great American Songbook. Uh, she's done pop, but she also did a, 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 a lot of work uh, in the contemporary Christian um, uh, market also. And this is one of the um, albums that, that um, crossed into that area. And it's called Surrender. And we cut this in 1983 at Bill Schnee's studio, the great Bill Schnee. It was produced by Brown Bannister, who I did many, many records with all of the Stephen Curtis Chapman and Twyla Paris and uh, Avalon, lots and lots of uh, projects with, with Brown producing. And this was engineered by Jack Joseph Puig, who I also had done a number of projects with over the years and mastered by the great Doug Sachs. Um, the strings for this album were cut at Air Studios in London, which I love working at. I've done a... Um, about a half a dozen projects at that place. And it's just this, it's George Martin's um, studio uh, in London where they do all the James Bond movies, all the orchestras are there. It's, it's a fabulous old church in London. So it's um, their Air Lindhurst Studios. And then they did the Woodwinds at CBS Studios in London. And I believe the horns were, it's, it's a Nashville horn section. So it may have been done in Nashville. I didn't see a credit on that. Um, but one, lots of great players on this project. I mean, this is the thing that's great is, you know, like people hear records and they, and they, and they if you, especially if you don't read credits, you kind of think it's different people all the time, kind of like the Wrecking Crew was back in the 60s where people were listening to Sinatra and the Association and the Beach Boys and the Mamas and Papas without realizing that it was pretty much the same musicians playing on all those people's records. And it's... Uh, Kind of the same here in L.A. There's some serious core musicians that do that have done most of the recording in this town. And they cross over into all genres and all styles and with different kinds of artists. So uh, so on this one, the uh, first track I'm going to play is called Wounded Soldier. 
and it's myself on bass, Jim Keltner on drums, Dean Parks um, on guitar, uh, Donnie McGuire on keyboards, and the background vocalists on this one are Donnie McGuire and Reba Rambo, and, uh, and Debbie Boone singing. So, so here we go. This is Wounded Soldier from the album Surrender, Debbie Boone, 1983.
when we were recording this, um, Debbie, I think, was about eight months pregnant with twins. Now, Debbie is is a, a slight of frame woman, uh, and she was so huge on this. She said she was afraid to leave the house because people would run in horror when they would see her coming with these twins in front of her, almost like she needed a wheelbarrow or something. To, so she said, like, maybe seven months or long, but she said towards the end, she just couldn't leave the house. It was just too too much. And she had two great, great kids and stuff. I mean, she, she has a bunch of kids and... Um, her husband's a great friend, and they're just a really nice couple. But um, it was just funny when she was in there. I mean, it's like, you know, putting it all out, but you know, just ready to pop. Uh, here's a song called Keep On Rollin', and it's, again, it's myself, Rick Schlosser on drums on this one. Uh, Rick I did a lot of records with, and at one point he was playing drums in the James Taylor Band. And I think he's moved to Mexico last I heard, I think. Um, and Dean Parks and Fred Tackett from Little Feet are on guitar, Shane Keister on piano, and Robbie Buchanan on synth with Lenny Castro playing percussion. And the background vocalists are Gary Chapman and Lori Browning on this. But everybody comes in, and I, did, I was talking about Shane the other day on keyboards when I was doing the um, uh, Steve Kowalczyk album and did lots of things with Robbie Buchanan over the years. So there's one called Keep Rolling On. Gotta keep rolling on Till we make it to the end of our journey home Safe in the arms of the God
She has such a beautiful timbre in her voice. I mean, uh, when she's doing the uh, American Standards, it's really beautiful, too. She really, uh, she's a great singer. I've always really liked Debbie's voice. Um, you know, it's been fun. I've, I think three albums with her, and uh, it's always a treat to be in the studio. Uh, this one is, uh, which one am I going to do now? This one is called Can You Reach My Friend? And... Uh, this is, again, myself and Rick Schlosser on drums and Fred Tackett and Dean Parks on guitars and Shane Keister on piano and Robbie Buchanan on Fender Rhodes. So here we go, one more. I got a call from an old friend Laughed about how we had changed But I could tell things weren't going as well as he claimed He tried to hide his feelings But they only gave him away The longer I listened, the more I kept wishing that I knew the right words to say Beautiful vocals, great arrangements, and wonderful playing. 
I think I'll leave it at that. If anybody wants to check out more, the album is Surrender from 1983, Debbie Boone. I'm just thinking about some funny stories from other projects. If I visit any of the other albums, I'll tell some stories about them. Some funny stuff happens. You know, everybody always thinks so much of this real straight ahead. You know, everybody's businesslike. You know, there's some pretty crazy people involved in these records, and some funny stuff really does happen. Um, so I'm going to leave it at that. I'm going to now get ready to go and, and um, go pick up a bunch of stuff and do some work around the house and then have... I got my alarm set so I won't forget my interviews this afternoon. And um, actually just also, just when I got back from the dentist, I took the boys for a walk. So they had a nice walk out there and visited all the blades of grass in the neighborhood to see who's been by and, uh, and like that. So um, have a wonderful day. I wish everybody all the very best. Um, it's uh, unique times we live in, I'll say that. It's a... Uh, it's it's it heartbreaking at times. I was you know seeing footage of that um, hip hop concert in um, Houston where the uh, audience stormed the stage, and I think eight people were killed uh, in this. It's so, it's so scary when you're doing these shows and the crowd starts to move. It is like w watching an avalanche or a landslide happen. And boy, if if you fall down, it's over for you. It's just heartbreaking when these things happen. And I hope if they start opening up more and more events, they really address the safety issues at these concerts. Make sure there's plenty of in, in position, you know, like barricades that stop people from moving forward. You know, have one section, then the next section and all that, just so you don't end up with, you know, thousands of people shoving forward because it's just a disaster waiting to happen. And uh, it's happened a number of times in the past. So my heart's really out to those families where, you know, they had kids. Well, one of them was, I think, 14. You know, they'd gone out to have an evening of music and ends up this catastrophic evening. So my heart's with all those people. My heart's with all of the people working in our, our health care system, trying to save people's lives. Because you know, I'm seeing all this stuff I just noticed today that the bleachers are going up for the Rose Parade. They, they've started assembling those. And I'm not sure what the protocol is gonna be for that, but there's people from all over the world that come to this event and different you know, situations everywhere. I don't know how they're gonna monitor this, but my fingers are crossed that it turns out to be okay. But uh, it's, uh, still, I'm still gun shy about everything. I hear too often, I know too many people that are still dealing with illness and family problems uh, due to this so stay safe you know get out there get yourself vaccinated there's so many so much disinformation going on and stuff that's just left us so far behind the eight ball for for a long time now so get smart i'm out of here i will see you all tomorrow and uh and have a wonderful day it's all i can emphasize so take care bye-bye